Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ark Verma, I am the Assistant Professor of Psychology in the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences and the Interdisciplinary Program for Cognitive Science at IIT Kanpur. The course I will be taking in NPTEL is titled Introduction to Basic Cognitive Processes. Now, Introduction to Basic Cognitive Processes is basically the first of the two part course on uh, Introduction to Cognitive Psychology that I will be taking. Uh, cognitive psychology is basically referred to as the scientific study of mental processes. Uh, by mental processes, I mean processes like uh, perception, sensation, uh, attention, uh, language, memory, decision making and these kinds of processes. The approach that I will be taking in this particular course will basically be to treat behavior as made up of uh, smaller components and these components will be the mental processes that I have just referred to. Uh, let me take an example uh, to uh, really elaborate on this point. Suppose that you want to read uh, something out of a newspaper or a book or say for example you are going to uh, some place and you just by chance glance at a billboard uh, you know on the side of the road and you try and read it. Now what does this involve? This basically you, you could say broadly that this is reading and reading is a, a large uh, you know uh, behavior. But if you look at it more closely, reading basically involves a few mental processes already. Reading involves uh, visual perception and analysis of the letters. Uh, reading involves converting those letters into sound. Uh, reading involves making uh, meaning out of that sound uh, and then understanding and doing whatever with that particular meaning uh, which you want to do. Let me take another example. Suppose uh, you know you're playing a particular sport. Maybe uh, you know uh, good at cricket, and uh, what you're doing is you're uh, you know standing as a fielder somewhere in the ground and you're catching a ball. Now, what does catching a ball actually involve? Uh, catching a ball involves uh, looking at the ball. Uh, it involves uh, really, uh, you know, uh, getting the shape and the uh, form of the ball that it is, you know, of a particular shape. It is uh, red in color, those kind of things. It also involves computing the speed at which uh, the ball is coming to yourself. It involves uh, telling your uh, motor circuits to uh, really prepare uh, to catch that ball, come into that position so that you don't miss the ball. Now again, this is just fielding, fielding is a broad behavior but what I am trying to do here is uh, breaking down uh, that particular uh, slightly broader behavior into uh, smaller components and each of these components are the mental processes like uh, perception, uh, attention, uh, you know memory, uh, you know action, those kind of things. This is pretty much what we will be doing in the entire duration of this course. I will start this particular course uh, uh, with talking about introduction into cognitive psychology, what cognitive psychology is actually about. I will talk about the foundational assumptions in cognitive psychology, I will talk about the historical developments that led to uh, cognitive psychology being what it is uh, at the current moment. Uh, we'll also talk about uh, some sister disciplines like cognitive neuroscience and cognitive neuropsychology which work together with cognitive psychology, experimental psychology broadly uh, to lead to a lot of research that basically you know forms the uh, body of the knowledge. We will be talking about various approaches, uh, you know, alternative approaches that are there in cognitive psychology uh, and then gradually we'll move to uh, the research methods. We'll talk about also because uh, the body of the material, uh, you know, in, uh, in this course will also because uh, the body of the material, uh, you know, in, uh, in this course will also draw from a lot of research studies, a lot of experimental work will also be reviewed. Uh, so in that sense, it's only fit that we talk about research methods in psychology as well, research methods in cognitive psychology as well uh, and then we'll move on to talking about uh, specific mental functions uh, since this is a basic course in uh, you know it's the first part of a two-part course uh, I will only cover a subset of the mental functions that I already mentioned uh, say for example I will be talking about sensation I'll be talking about perception I'll be talking about uh, attention and I'll also be talking about memory uh, we might, if there is time, talk about uh, disorders uh, in each of these uh, functions as well. Uh, and this is pr uh, pretty much what is going to be the body of uh, the uh, you know coursework. 
uh, these course, these uh, you know, ma this material will be divided into a lot of modules spread over eight weeks and in around forty lectures. Uh, what you will need to do is to attend to uh, you know is to watch each of these lectures and try and make a link between uh, you know the uh, all the lectures as a sequential material. Uh, this is how this uh, will be logically organized. Uh, and in a later part of the course, which will uh, come sometime later, you'll talk about other cognitive functions such as uh, uh, language uh, d uh, decision making problem solving and those kind of things. Uh, I will uh, talk about say for example, uh, all of these things in enough detail, I will talk about the experiments, I will talk about the theoretical foundations, uh, we will try and uh, talk about some of the experiments that are conducted in this field and that is going to form uh, you know uh, the basic uh, you know the crux of the material that we will be covering in this course. Now. Uh, if I come to the assignment part, uh, basically every week you will have a weekly assignment, generally uh, multiple choice questions which will make it uh, easier for you to attempt and do that and you know, uh, then the exam will also be a multiple choice uh, exam so that you can uh, you know, do uh, and uh, do well in that exam and uh, achieve the certification at some point. Uh, the suggested readings basically will be of uh, three to four books which are already there mentioned in the introduction page. Uh, and this is basically uh, uh, you know going to be a course that is going to be helpful for both undergraduate and postgraduate students of psychology, uh, students also in the cognitive sciences who want to uh, learn more about the mental processes, the cognitive uh, processes that uh, we are going to be talking about. Uh, so that is about it. And uh, I hope that you uh, find the course interesting. Say, for example, if you are a professional from an industry which deals with human resource, or say, for example, if you are a professional from an industry which deals with human users, and you want to design things, say, for example, you know, widgets and web pages and uh, things that human users, uh, you know, basically interact with, uh, I think this course will also be useful for uh, you know individuals like you. Okay, so that was the information about the course. I hope that you will find the content and the material of the course interesting and engaging enough. Uh, I hope that you uh, last and uh, you see all the material that is present in the course and finally uh, you know uh, participate in the examination and take your certification for the course. Thank you.